Okay guys, so you guys seem to like the Conor McGregor video a lot, Conor and Khabib, and their press conferences tonight, and I really want to talk more about that, but I, I want to make a video now, and I want to watch it and do all this stuff, but I can't make the video later tonight because I have later plans, and I can't, like, I'm kind of cutting it close to watching it and not watching it, so I might end up not watching it, and, um end up watching it tomorrow what happens because Khabib said he wanted to change Connor's face and Connor said he'll rip his head off and they both just hate each other so what the video I was going to talk about today was about John Jones uh, and Anthony Johnson and if you guys don't know who they are they are um, all fighters for the UFC and if you guys are casual fans Connor is a big dude and they all fight in the same like UFC, you know, okay, if you didn't know, they fight in the UFC. So, John Jones was suspended for having tainted supplements, which means there was something that's banned in the supplements he was taking, blah, 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 blah. Um, and he got banned, it would have been a four-year suspension, but the company who does that, it's a third-party company who does the testing on the, the athletes, they did the tests, and they said that it wasn't on purpose, it was accidental. And he wasn't taking steroids or something like that. And um, so he got his ban his banned from four years down to 15 months. <laughs> so I was about to say years. 15 months. And um, what the way it would line up is he'd be able to fight October 28th, which would be awesome. So I'm kind of hoping that Anthony Johnson comes out of retirement to fight John Jones. Which I think is going to happen because there's a picture of them... St standing off at and looking at each other like they would as a a fight promo like um here i'll pop it up here blah 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 uh i hate doing that because i don't know whether i'm actually gonna do it or not i probably will anyways i try to make these videos not as long and short or <laughs> i'm trying to make them short anyways so yeah john jones coming back hopefully he has a great um rest of his career hopefully he'll be able to fight as soon as possible because everybody misses him i feel like and I really want him to fight um, Daniel Cormier for the light heavyweight title. But Daniel Cormier obviously doesn't want to because I feel like he's afraid of him. And Daniel Cormier is going to retire probably before John has a chance to fight him again. And they just have bad blood between each other. It, I would really want them to fight again. But I'd say my favorite UFC fighter is John Jones. He's, he's undefeated. He has one loss but lost by technicality because I think he threw a punch to the back of a head and you're not allowed to do that but um he won every single fight he was in the cage and everybody knows that he's like possibly the best of all time the goat greatest of all time not the best of all time <laughs> anyways um yeah so John Jones was my favorite fighter and I was pretty sad when he got suspended um but I'm pretty happy that he'll be able to come back he said that fighting isn't out of his his um path he said that he needs to fight like he doesn't need to fight because he said he's financially well off because of all the fights he's had and stuff like that in the ufc but um he's doing well is what i'm trying to say um but yeah john jones versus anthony johnson would be a good comeback fight if he wins then i was hoping that he would be able to fight daniel cormier but daniel cormier has a fight with brock lesnar coming up and I think it's a stupid fight I really do because he Brock Lesnar is obviously on steroids and Daniel Cormier was like I want to fight you because it's like they're both like high up wrestlers and they were always battling each other back and forth in college apparently and they want to see who the best fighter is and I'm thinking Daniel Cormier is better because Brock's on steroids and all this stuff but USADA is probably gonna give him a fine or something like that and he's just gonna go retire after the fight and not fight anymore because if Brock wins then he has to defend the title and all this crap so I don't know John Jones favorite fighter I like him a lot he's a good fighter good dude he says he's Christian he's got a tattoo across his chest he says he's changed he's all this stuff just hope that uh, he comes back strong and wins and he's he redeems himself because he's probably 
the second reason why I got into the UFC. First was Connor because of his loud mouth, and second, John Jones. But yeah, I was gonna look up something real quick. Hold up one second. UFC. I was gonna look up his fight record. <clears throat> I know it's in the double digits. John Jones fight record. Okay, well it's not telling me. Da, 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 da. At this point I'm just wasting time. Sorry guys. John Jones record. He's 22-1-0. And that should be 23-0 basically because that was the disqualification. And I think in that fight he ended up breaking his big toe. You could see like all his toes are like this. This one was like this. Like the skin was off and you could see the bone is gross. I recommend go watch that fight and you see John Jones he was like oh the adrenaline's gonna suck or it's gonna suck when the adrenaline wears off but anyways yeah so my thing John Jones favorite fighter and I can't wait for him to come back so John Jones if you're watching this thanks for helping me get into the UFC and watch it see you guys later